Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.1 and I want to show you how to add shaders to your game. So this is Final Burn Alpha. We're playing Final Fight. This is how it looks out of the box. And I want to show you something really cool. There's a bunch of different shaders that you can add. So, like I said, this is out of the box and this is with the shader added. It looks really good in my opinion. As you can see, we have scan lines and we have some curvature effect. So in this video, I'm only gonna be demonstrating this one shader here, but there are plenty to choose from. It's about personal preference. This is my favorite one. This is a CRT with scan lines. Let's go ahead, get into this. It's very simple to do and you'll have it up and running in no time. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is go to the RetroPie logo on the main menu here. We're gonna enter this and scroll down to RetroPie Setup. Now inside of the RetroPie Setup, buttons can be different for different controllers. So right now I'm using an Xbox 360 controller and I can use my D-pad to navigate and my A button to select. But you need to be careful because at the bottom here, if you press over, you have your OK, Exit, and Help. If you want to press OK, make sure OK is highlighted. Exit, you need Exit highlighted. And if you need help, highlight Help. First thing I recommend doing is when we go into here is go down to Update RetroPie Script. Now to update the script, you will need to be online connected either Wi-Fi or Ethernet with your Raspberry Pi. So let's make sure we're on OK. Press A on the controller. If you're using a PS3 controller, select on the controller will confirm. It's a little odd. If you got a keyboard, I do recommend using a keyboard. You'll just use your arrow keys and enter. Now that we've updated the RetroPie setup script to version 4.1.5, now that's as of making this video, it's time to get in. We'll go down to Configuration Tools. Scroll down until we see Config Edit. Config basic libretro emulator options. Now these only work with libretro cores. There are a few cores that this will not work with. But if we scroll down the list, pretty much everything here is listed. As you can see, all the good emulators at least. So at the very top, if you want to set all of the systems with the scan lines, you're going to go to configure default options for all libretro emulators. Now, I don't want all of my emulators to look like this, so we're just going to go right down to, let's say, let's do Neo Geo, actually. We'll go to Neo Geo. At the bottom, as you can see, I'm moving from OK to Cancel. Make sure you're on OK. Press A if you're using a 360 controller. Press Select if you're using a PS3 controller. Press Enter if you're using your keyboard. Video smoothing. We can set this up. I don't like video smoothing. It does blur the sprites a little bit. Aspect ratio, 4.3, 16.9. I'm gonna leave it at 4.3. That's what the arcade cabs used. Rendering resolution. Now we can set this all the way up to 1280 by 960, but in this video, I'm leaving it stock. Video shader enabled. Now this is the important part. We wanna set this to true. Video shader file. From this menu, there are tons of options. Now, I'm not gonna go over all of them. You can experiment with them, see what you like the most. My favorite one right now is CRT Pi Curvature. So we have a curvature for a regular format game, or we can go to vertical format. So this will be for your shoot 'em up games that use vertical flight, stuff like that. Right now, I'm gonna use that CRT Pi Curvature. Looks really good with the Neo Geo and FBA. And that's it. We're going to go to cancel, 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 back, exit. So you can experiment with all those settings. There are tons to choose from, guys, and you're going to need to find your personal preference. Now, I'm not a big fan of scan lines unless they are created by my television, like a CRT. But I got to say, I kind of fell in love with this one. It's got the curvature just like an old CRT and some really nicely placed scan lines. Let's go to Neo Geo. And from here, we're just going to start Metal Slug 4.
And as you can see already, it really looks like an arcade machine. So if you stretch this out to 16.9 on these new widescreen TVs, things are going to stretch out and it's not going to look very good. So I do suggest keeping the 4.3 aspect ratio. I'm going to insert some coins and we'll get into some gameplay. So I really, really do like this. And that's pretty much it, guys. All the emulators that are listed can be changed in the um, config edit menu there. If you find one that you like a lot, let me know in the comments below and I can give it a test too because I've only tested a few of them and I kind of stuck with this just because it looks so authentic to me. It's amazing how they were able to set this up to look so realistic. Now I have a cab and the cab looks really good with this and I'm using a LCD Dell monitor and this really does bring the old school feel to it the real cab feel now there are borders on the side but that doesn't bug me that much um, it is a widescreen monitor like I was saying widescreens not gonna be too great for these games if you stretch them out so stick with that 4.3 and everything should be great for you it does look amazing. Test them out, see what you like better. This is my favorite by far. But let me know what your favorite is in the comments below and I'll check it out. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will also leave a link to the RetroPie Wiki page on shaders. Like always, thanks for watching.